Welcome to this short introduction of values, what they are, and why they are important. As a human, you have needs. You express your needs and beliefs as your personal values. The purpose of your values is always to take care of your needs, both conscious and unconsciously. This, to feel safe, feel loved, and to feel good about yourself. When you are aligned with your personal values, you are true to yourself and you become authentic. This will result in a life with increased balance, meaningfulness, and well-being. Maybe you think that sounds good, but also abstract and academic. Let me ask you. Have you ever been upset, sad, or angry? Maybe of somebody else. Or at yourself. Try to remember a situation when you got upset, sad, or angry. What caused you to have these feelings? You will react negatively when one of your values is not fulfilled. This creates feelings of indignation, mistrust, and separation. Let me also ask you. If you ever have been glad, at peace, or even happy, remember a situation when you had these feelings. What caused you to have these feelings? You react positively when one of your personal values is fulfilled. And this is creating feelings of joy, togetherness, and well-being. If you want to have more joy, togetherness, and well-being in your life, then that is what you should be focusing on. We might even say that your life's purpose is to become a values maximizer. Let us go through why this is important for you. We spend a lot of time at work. Do you know the reasons why you go to work? To find out the reasons of why people go to work, we have asked thousands of people this simple but yet so difficult question. The different reasons you can see here. Some of the reasons is to get an income. This to feel safe, that they can provide for the family and to pay their bills. Many see the income as the means to continue with their interest and do activities together with friends and family. Other reasons are to get stimulus and appreciation and to feel pride of contributing. People also want to grow, both professionally and as a person, this by taking on challenges and to learn new things. Many are going to work to be part of a group and to socialize. Of all these different factors of why people go to work, it's interesting to note. Over 90% of all factors are feelings. The feeling of contributing, feeling of belonging, feeling of growing, etc. Your thoughts, feelings, needs and your fears is only within yourself. This is what we call your inner reality. Factors, like a contract, your performance, money in your account, and so forth, is visible artifacts, behaviors, and, and how we communicate. This is your outer reality. Here, I would like to introduce the tree metaphor. You have probably heard of the iceberg metaphor? This is the same, but updated with a tree instead. Different from the iceberg, a tree is something that is growing and needs caring for to grow. A tree is starting as a small seed. In order for the seed to grow into a big tree, you will need to provide it with the right kind of environment. With the right combination of soil and water, together with sun and oxygen, you will create an environment that will make the tree to grow a big root system. This to become a robust tree that will withstand all kind of external disturbances, like heavy rain, storms, floods, and so forth. This means that the tree needs both the its inner reality, the soil and water, and its outer reality, the sun and oxygen. Of course, this applies to you as a human being as well. For you to grow and thrive, you need a strong inner reality in order to align yourself and to cope with the outer reality. Let us go back to talk about your personal values. As I said before, more than 90% of the values only exists in your inner reality. Unfortunately, most people are not aware of their 10 to 15 most important values in their lives. These are the values that really drives your motivation and your behaviors. 
If you don't know your personal values, makes it really hard to live out who you truly are. That's probably why we can see so much unhealth, anxiety, and depression in our society today. Until you make the unconscious conscious, it will control your life. And you will call it your fate. This is a quote from the Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst, Carl Jung. In analogy with your personal values, the more conscious of who you are and what is important for you, the better you can grow and thrive in your life. You are involved in 10 of thousand decisions every day. Most of them are unconscious. Your decisions are reflecting your values and your beliefs and are expressed in your behaviors as positive and contributing when you act in alignment with your personal values. This is creating good relations, trust, and togetherness. Your behaviors can also be seen as negative and counterproductive, both to yourself and to others. These behaviors are reflecting your unconscious fears of not meeting your values, and you are focusing too much on trying to meet them. This is creating fear, mistrust, and separation. I have mentioned values, beliefs, and behaviors. What do I mean when I talk about them? Let us go through some definitions of these words. Your values, beliefs, and your behaviors is like a buoy that is chained to a big rock in sediment at the bottom of the ocean. Your values is who you are and what is important to you, like the solid and heavy rock. The values are therefore considered as a container with energy that you as an individual or a group considers important. Values are objective or neutral. That means that they do not contain a personal position, independently of the situation. Your beliefs is the chain linking your values to the behaviors. The beliefs are the conscious and unconscious assumptions and principles that you hold to be true. They are subjective, which means that you will decide of what is right or wrong in different situations. This is visualized by the chain that can sway a little, primarily depending on the current, and also a little on the wind that affects the buoy on the surface. The buoy is then representing your visible behaviors and are your manifestation of your beliefs related to the value. I hope this made it a little clearer for you. Let's look at an example of this to make it more clear. Let's look at a common personal value, like respect, as an example. A person that is considered as a true leader was the former president in South Africa, Nelson Mandela. His belief of this value was with love, peace, and understanding. Through his behaviors, he manifested this through dialogue to listen in and to understand how other people, including his opponents, were thinking and reasoning. Another person that probably have this value as well is Donald Trump. According to me, his beliefs are more fear-driven. His beliefs are like, I am mighty and strong, and you shall be subservient, worship me and fear me. In his behaviors, he manifests this through constantly ridiculing other people's intelligence and beliefs. Trump is also making fun of other people's looks and their behaviors. This was a simple example of the same value, but with two totally different beliefs and manifested behaviors. When you make the unconscious conscious, you can take conscious decisions, this, to create the life you want to live. This means, when you are more conscious of your most important personal values, you can proactively decide how you want to behave in different situations and manifest your values clearer in your reality. This will create a positive energy that will build more joy, togetherness, and well-being in your life. To increase your balance, meaningfulness, and well-being in your life, the Barrett's seven levels of human development framework will help you to make you more conscious of your personal values and your individual needs. More of this framework is presented in the video, Introduction to Barrett Human Development Framework. With Barrett Analytics you can develop and align individuals and groups, leadership and their teams and whole organizations. 
the Barrett Analytics is also aligned to actively address the organizational values to the UN Global Goals for working towards a sustainable company, planet, and world. Barrett Analytics are also used by countries to assess their country's values. Sweden have assessed the country's values for over 10 years, including the municipals. For more information about Barrett Value Center and of the different assessments, please go to valuecenter.com or valuecenter.se.